Next turn. Ah, okay. Hmm. Probably not good. So, he has attacked the planet. He's maybe given an attack move order instead of an attack seek order on my ships. And the interceptors I left behind have, uh, well, six of them have been killed. And he may have bombarded the planet, but the planet may have survived. We'll see. It's funny how the planet is at the very edge of the sector here. So, what's happened? This thing should launch these fighters anytime now. There they go. Let's see what they actually do. They have 20 armor apiece. These things mostly just have missiles and ah right they have a PD auto cannon, the one that fires all the fucking time. And uh, yeah. Does it what damage type does it have normal? No auto kinetic. So at least it doesn't penetrate the armor or anything, but still. It's not going to do well with this. These things have enough uh, have enough ordnance though. Pew 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 pew. Uh, three second reload time, they're going to take a while. And they have to chew down these hundred units of armor as well. Of course they are focused the fire on one ship the first time around, but now, no, not so much. Let's accelerate this a little bit. It looks like we managed to disable one cruiser. Okay, four of them are remaining. Oh, and now they've run out of ordnance because that is what these also do, these PD auto cannons chew through a lot of ordnance really quickly. Well, and now these have run out of ordnance? No, they have not. If they decided that there's suddenly uh, not enough, there's not enough of them left anymore, or what? What are they doing? Why aren't they attacking this ship? So these three are obviously fleeted, otherwise this one wouldn't be sitting here. This is th must be the lead ship. And these are still in formation. The ship could move if we wanted to. One of the silly things about Space Empires. <sighs> well, I call us a victory. Two of those cruisers disabled. We still have the planet. I can deal with the loss of six really cheap interceptors. And the planet is building a new bomber every turn now as well. Okay. Mm, shield technology should finish next turn. Yes. Just this much is enough. Okay. We might just want to go for immediately uh, getting this at level 2. That might not be such a bad idea. Um... Yeah, these techs are relatively expensive now. We can't get these in our turn or two. Mm -hmm. Do we have any specific need for any technologies? Do I want uh, something that will immediately uh, make let me build better units when the system may just conquer or what? Pro. we get these missiles maybe? A tier 2 weapon? No, I think the answer lies in getting better uh, better theoretical techs. Maybe unlocking lasers would be a nice idea. Oh, industry, medium thrusters, mine layers, docking bays, ships that cost a little less uh, maintenance. Let's do this one. It's really cheap and it's gonna give us better research labs and also better troops and better bridges. Something else too. No plant of fortifications and space docks, whatever. Yeah, let's get a level or two of that. Okay, you were still on hold because we were worried about our monies. Mm -hmm. So we have enough for four turns. After that, it we are going to be in trouble. Have we finished one of the metropolises yet? We finished two, in fact. Hmm. Yeah, this planet here. 
And now we're actually producing something. Mostly minerals, which is not really what we need, but meh. Unfortunately, it does not seem like we have a good um, organics producing planet. One of the colonies over here. Good organics value? No, not really. Maybe that's a trade off. Maybe planets just have better organics values and you have better mineral values or radioactive values in these asteroids. I could see it doing something like that. Yeah, they all seem to have worse organics values than the other values. Maybe I should have taken uh, farming instead of mining trade. Well, the more you know. Uh, we were going to cloak you again and warp you through there. Um, how about the fleet just returns as it is and we never show him that we even have these ships here. I like that idea a lot. Mm, what do we do with the dropship? We could just take the dropship here and conquer that planet. And with just, I mean, it'll be there in six turns. If so, we don't want to leave it uh, undefended though, so we might want to have some of these ships there coming with it. Or we could have these ships coming with it, because they're only three speed just like this one, whereas these are a little faster and can proceed here. Mm. Did they have different armament? Yeah, they had better mass drivers. Uh, no, I definitely want, don't want to show him that I have other ships. I want to show him these ships again. So how about we just send those back? And the thing is, if he retreats the one ship that is uh, able to still go, we can't really stop him. Uh, this was damaged, this was damaged. Uh, Torpy 07 was the one that wasn't damaged, so let's chase after that one. If we really wanted to catch them, we should probably use these. You be cloaked and go through there, yes. See if there's any reinforcements on the way already. <sighs> I really need um, a sensor ship to go through there. Um, should we put this back in the fleet? Maybe. Let's put this in there. what to do with you. I am going to send you this way. And you are going to produce, since we lost six uh, interceptors with 10 kilotons each, we are going to rebuild two more of these bombers, which are going to replace 50 kilotons of that. Uh, no, I guess that doesn't actually matter since we are already sending the ship away, we're not uh, refilling it up. You know, just two of these. Um, I'm not feeling terribly confident against his laser armies. Yeah, uh, I might not want to do this. Not against his laser armies. If he just builds an extra army on here, or maybe not even then I'm going to be screwed because my armor does not protect me against that. Whereas his armor protects him against uh, my kinetic weapons quite well. Fine, you are going back here which means we should queue up those two bombers again. Mm, I think it'll be fine. Let's set you to pick up the fighters. They should arrive on the same turn. Well, this one might not even be arriving there. It's probably going to chase after the other ship, which was a retreat. I would retreat it. I don't know what else he would do with it. <laughs> yeah. Have uh, they not been repaired? Maybe they'll only be repaired next turn. I don't know. Uh, you should cloak. You have the solar sails. Doesn't matter if you are not, if you are like this. 
And yeah, move there for now. Uh, you are in the fleet, aren't you? Yeah, no, you don't bitch anymore. Good. The warships. One, two, three, four tiles here. If the ship runs, we can catch it with that. And since he only has level one sensors, he should not be seeing me, right? Yeah, if I move here, he shouldn't be seeing me. Not if he moves his three tiles up into here. And I don't know where else he would be moving. Okay, this ship was cloaked and moved here and uh, did not cause a combat. What does he have? Jack shit. Doesn't have anything built on there yet. Mm, fine with me. Which means that you are going to move off. And I'm going to uncloak you. This is also going to be an experiment. I'm going to see if this causes a dam if this causes a uh, a combat next turn while it's moving out. And you don't need to do that. You can just move here. I'm tempted to leave this one behind at the war point here, but we have stuff arriving in two turns already to see if anything comes through the war point. Because without sensors, uh, staying on a war point and challenging anything that comes through is really my only way of knowing if something comes through or not. So do I need to, need to queue anything up? Is there anything finishing here? Um, not really. Let's say they don't have a lot of cargo space. Once these are finished, I want to build up um, some units here. You had still some, some time remaining, you will pause. The two of you should be building. <sighs> Considering putting one of these, or maybe even two of these, on emergency mode so I can get more resources faster, but they still have uh, more stuff to build afterwards, I think it'll be fine. What are the build rates now? Oh. What's your build rate? 500. 425 because... Sort of 10% minus production, so I guess the neutral point for the production bonus on Malus is like 250 mil. And you have two light shipyards. You also have two light shipyards, which, which build 250 each. Okay then, let's see what it does with this one remaining ship. <laughs>